Hello scientists, welcome back to my channel. I will talk about a big drama that's happening right now related with AI generated images. These three authors from China use AI generated images for their research publication. It was so bad, they went viral on Twitter, 5.3 million views, and the result of these negative attention caused the retraction of the article. This is the worst nightmare of any academics. We can see the importance of having good quality scientific illustration. I'm a scientific illustrator and I've been teaching you guys how to draw professional schematics on this channel and these three authors somehow did not see my video that's why they got into this big scandal I literally have the same topics and let's take a look at how bad these illustrations are this is supposed to be an illustration of the testicle of the rat somehow this rat has four testicles and one of them is enlarged one of the most important principle of making anatomy illustration is it has to be anatomically correct I never seen a rat that has four testicles. They look more like tumor instead of testicles. And what is that big tube comes down from the ceiling? Even for people who don't work in science can tell this illustration is not accurate. Let's look at the labels. Why do they write dick right here? What is dick? This is not any type of language. Is this English? And what is this sectolic stem cell on the shoulder? This is definitely incorrect. This spoon is scooping some stem cells, I guess. Stem cells with two M's. They look more like your leftover cereal. These illustrations are not acceptable. I have tutorials on my channel to show you how to draw them in a nature review style. You can totally make them sell for free by just watching my videos. I don't understand why these scientists are digging themselves into this big hole. Let's move on to the next one. Apparently, they try to create a schematic illustration of a signaling pathway. This is not successful at all. The only part that we get right is Jack and Stat. These two labels are correct, but the rest, what's happening with the signaling pathway? Where is it going to? What is Sims Jam? What is this UFO thing? Nothing about this represent the actual signaling pathway. This can be easily avoided just by watching my tutorial of the Jack Stat pathway. It's not that I'm trying to push hard on my videos, but I literally have the solution for you guys. The next set of illustration, I guess they're trying to create these spermatogonial stem cells. We cannot see anything anatomically correct I cannot tell where the sperm is i don't know what to say anymore they look very colorful look very eye-catching but for the wrong reason it is so wrong that we cannot look away there's no scientific information the most important element of scientific illustration is the scientific knowledge the main problem of this scandal is why nobody stopped this article at any checkpoint throughout the publication process the three authors just decided to blindly trust the ai to create these images for them and somehow they're not able to tell the image and the AI is not presenting their research properly so it could be lack of effort or lack of knowledge they just put themselves in a very bad light another bigger problem is the reviewing process the reviewer should have caught the problem of these illustrations the labels in the illustrations were obviously wrong they also exposed there is a big problem in the quality of the reviewing process this scandal is like a nuclear bomb that blow up the reviewing process and expose all the problems in this journal as a result the article is retracted and and one of the author even took off his photo from the journal system. With this case, you guys can really see the importance of having good quality illustrations for your publications. My advice for the past year has always been don't use AI to make your scientific illustrations because they're not advanced enough to make these very detailed and information rich illustrations at the moment. The AI they use is called Mid Journey. It is very good for making these 3D models, game design, concept art. They have yet to have a function to let people go into the image and modify the details. So there will be a big problem if you just let AI draw everything for your research publications. What you should do instead is subscribe to my channel, follow my tutorials. If you have any questions, come to my live stream to ask me these questions and I can help you with your illustrations. And every week I let you guys vote for the topics you want to see on my channel. And I have helped so many scientists around the world. None of my viewers have had their papers retracted. I'm a better choice for making your figures. 
okay? Let me know in the comments what do you think about this drama. Do they deserve what they get to use AI for your publications? I'm really curious what you guys think. Remember to give a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.